Welcome to Suerte del Molino Farm. We are in Andalusia, Spain. We had a bumper crop of peaches and of grapes. Now, hopefully we will also be able to say we are going to have a bumper crop of rain. But that is out of our hands and this is the first year we are peaceful about all these things. Uh, we're slowly reading the rhythm and we flow with it. This is the pump, the cistern. There is a um, fountain that feeds this. It's pumping right now to the inflatable water tank. If I want to irrigate the west, the top black pipe, I open the tap and it goes up that way. The water comes from there. This is the first post with a yogurt container cap, meaning there is a cross of two lines. So we have a line going up to that strawberry tree and then the first irrigation drip line. It stops there. Then we have a T-junction here and let's follow it. It goes this way. It goes below this highest swell and then here next to these cluster of home oaks it turns to the west I'm going to fall into my own holes there is a next signpost another crossing of lines they're not connected it's from the well to the water tank and now from the cistern, the canal system, to the irrigation. It goes below this peach orchard. Then we have a another post here indicating a crossing of lines so this is the irrigation 40 millimeter line we are following and here we have a tube coming from that round water tank underneath the previous owner did it it's about two meters deep Plus, I have added another line, so are two lines coming down here, going uh, one to the house, and then the same one going to the tent, and the other one goes to irrigating the garden. But later about that, let's follow this same line. So when I open the valve on the pump, to the west, the water comes here, here is another end with a, an irrigation drip line going this way and that way, but the line didn't stop there. I have a T-junction just here and then the 40 millimeter line comes down. I have a valve here. If I close it like this, still a lot of water coming through, then I can regulate that not all the water just runs down with gravity but stays to the higher, uh, stays supplying water to the higher part. So, 
still the same line is coming down here some uh, tape unraveled by the dogs then that same tube runs this way this is not connected to it this is connected to the other line from the water tank anyway it runs here I have another fire hydrant here so this is the tube that carries on the tube goes down here and I'm going to sneeze okay bless me and uh, this is where the tube goes there to where the sky is let's follow it so this is a steep incline the water is coming down here still the water beneath our feet so we have three fire hydrants so far so many acorns coming down and huge ones and this is the fourth one here ah over there and then it switches to 32 millimeters all the way to the end of the farm the lowest part of the farm with many drip lines coming from that So all these swales, the berms, get irrigated from the pump where we started. And then it crosses over to the swale up there, our clay swale. And also there are uh, drip lines here. And then it ends. here lots of cypress trees showing their colors now so this is the end of it and just a little bit higher we have this uh, I wanted to say ever wet swale the one that is so clay soil that the water hardly evaporates only with the heat it evaporates so the water also comes down here and then let me go higher so this is the highest swell to the west and the water comes here okay so much for the irrigation with the pump from the canal system and I can also use the square water tank to irrigate all of this so the next episode of water beneath our feet such a beautiful day goodbye